What is going on everybody? This is Eric here with Classic Cards and today we are doing a very different video but something that you have probably seen a lot around a lot of the channels around here. Here I have sitting on the screen 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century book that I got from a recommendation from Baseball Collector which as you know is the big guy behind the 2020 or the uh, Hall of Fame sports card, YouTube Hall of Fame, um, for the past few years. And I can't believe how much work he makes for himself. It is crazy. So here's my ballot in an interesting way, kind of in the uh, style of our videos. But first, I just want to let you see the ballots of some of you guys that I have written down that I've gone through a lot of you guys I've watched your videos before I uh, started writing them down like an idiot um, but I mean look at how many of you guys are there and this is just a small fraction I'm sure um, so as far as my picks and again this is just a fun thing um, you know it's it's the 2020 this year YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. It's kind of a mouthful, so I'm gonna nickname my ballot the Card Community Hall of Fame. You know, I dig that term, Card Community, because it's about the card community. So, first of all, the channel's got to be making videos for more than a year, okay? And as far as the criteria that I kind of weighed more heavily towards, definitely overall quality of the videos. I know a lot of people weighed heavily on the collection of the cards, so that, that's definitely in there for me too. I try to get a variety in my list of 10. Again, 10 is not enough. I could make more than 300, so I'm sure us YouTubers can make a book of the 3,000th great baseball card YouTube channels of the 20th century. <laughs> um, and Community Impact was my number one. So community impact, aka card community impact. So keeping that in mind, here is my list. We're gonna go through it. I hope you guys enjoy. And um, after we're done with this list, we will I'll hopefully pop on the screen a list of a bunch of you guys out there that do make content. I am only one human, so I of course can't include everybody, but next year I hope to make that list four times bigger. So here we go. We're doing a hobby box today, and it's gonna be the 2020 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame hobby box. You can see here, it says 10 packs per box. All right, okay, nicely sealed here. Let's check out the, oh, okay. All right, got some odds. Let's see, Superstar YouTube channels, uh, one in every pack. All right, cool. So let's get to open this. We got to, Crack this open. Not sure where my little knife went. Oh man, this is fun. This is cool. I've been enjoying all the creative things that all you guys have been doing out there for your videos. I love being creative, and this YouTube app definitely gives me an outlet to do that. So, very, very cool. Love it. Love Baseball Collector for giving us this opportunity to do something with our creativity. And here we go. So we have a ah, hobby box of 2020 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame pack. Let's just go right ahead and take them all out here. Okay, interesting. And that's our box. We'll just set that up to the side. And let's go through these, shall we? Um, I guess you guys are thinking, what is he doing here? Well, I guess we'll see. Let's go through the first pack. These are my 10, so each pack is going to be a nomination for you, Mike, if that makes sense. And it's a hockey pack. So let's go through here. So 
So Triple Crown 24 is going to be the first nomination here. Again, this is just a random box. I kind of threw them all together, so I thought it would make it a little fun for me. Don't put them in any particular order. Triple Crown 24, Young Prodigy as he's called. Now he's a full-fledged you know, card dealer. He's obviously a big Miguel Cabrera fan. You can see from the pictures I chose. He's kind of had a little fun with his one. But a uh, big thing about him for me is he inspires me um, because we're around the same age, you know, kind of young collectors here in the hobby. And it just goes to show you don't have to have been born a hundred years ago <laughs> to, um, you know, have the passion, passion and the knowledge um, about sports cars, the hobby, baseball, and, um, you know, just a great community member. So Triple Crown 24, he gets my first vote. And let's move on to the next one. Let's see who we got here. Another hobby pack. All right, let's check this one out. John Mangini. John Mangini, of course. Great, uh, amazing collection. He prides himself on having the most extensive collection. I started watching him actually from Baseball Collector's Suggestion a while ago. I don't know why I remember it. I think he had, John had like 278 subscribers. I don't know why that is etched in my mind and you usually never look at numbers like that so that makes me 279 I think we'll, we'll call it that <laughs> uh, now he's got over double that he should have way way more I think he'll continue to be you know known in the community because his videos are amazing I love his sports card cafe I think he needs to bring it back <clears throat> John so incredibly extensive collection. He literally collects everything, not just baseball, not basketball. He has bowling, he has you know, anything, racing, TV show cards. Um, so, you know, he just likes to look at some baseball cards. <laughs> um, and in the end, he's me, pretty much, if I was born eh, 80 years ago. <laughs> just kidding, John. I know you're not that old, but if I, was your age, I would have been doing the same thing as a kid. So love your channel, love that. Let's go for another one here, Hobby Pack. Vintage card curators coming in at our third uh, vote on the ballot. So we have, we got vintage card curator. So this guy, I love his videos. Incredible research, just absolutely, his info is off the charts, stats, and his documentation helps exposing, you know, the misdeeds in the card community and getting that information out there. And, you know, of course, great information and videos on stories and cards and players that, you know, made an impact on the hobby, but maybe 20 years down the line may have been forgotten. I love those videos. So, Vintage Card Curator, he's my third vote here. And we will go to the fourth one. Put this guy away. He's got our vote. Our nomination. Let's go here to another hobby pack.
Dave Durango is gonna get my next vote. Dave Durango, of course, love his channel. He is an awesome guy. Love his cards and chords. Great guitar player, of course, Red Sox fan. Um, funny, you know, Chris Sabo lover. <laughs> he he is a streamer at a late hour, so he's pretty much, you know, the go-to for late when I need to look at some late cards, late night cards, hang out. Um, the oddball stuff, you know, you, you don't want to use the oddball card as a card, but he would tell you they're oddball. Um, absolutely great person. Of course, he has his assistant, although I don't know if he gets mu much help from him, his beautiful buddy, Cat Nova. So here we go, another one, hobby pack. Made it. Filmington is gonna get uh, my next vote. His community impact from his rookie card explosion boxes were pretty much the main reason that he made my list here, but he also does great uh, videos and he's a big rookie prospector guy. His videos on stats and you know, pr pricing and predictions and stuff like that. I definitely enjoy um, his hobby knowledge, his off the charts as well and again the rookie card explosion box with that best value I think out there uh, number one reason why he's on my list so here's another one Here's our next vote. The past is alive. If you don't know his channel, definitely check him out. Awesome, awesome guy. Super into, um, you know, 90s inserts, old toys. He's an amazing collection of toys, action figures. The past is alive. Awesome hobby knowledge. Um, he could tell you, you know, what rookie year is and 94 clear updates. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I, I share his love for the 90s inserts and the 80s stuff as well. Big toy guy, Ghostbuster collector, so not only cards, but amazing live streams. Always searching for Chase card and stuff like that. Great community member. So he gets my vote. And let's do another one here. So here we go, here's my next uh, nomination or vote on my ballot. It's gonna be Jab's family. He made my list because no matter what you think about him, I don't know why he gets so much hate out there, but um, he got many, many, many people back into collecting in this past year. And uh, before that, he used to do a lot of ball hawking. He was the guy who got the $6 World Series ticket, so, you know, a big community impact, another guy who had large impact on the card community and why I, he made my list, um, you know, again, great hobby knowledge of the cards, especially 90s and late 80s, rookies especially, so, he's uh, got my vote on this list, 2020 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame, card community ballot here.
Nuff said cards is getting my next vote here on the list. Nuff said cards, if you want to look at some cards that you just think you will never own, head over to Nuff said cards, as well as other people on this list. But man, this guy's got pre war cards out the wazoo. Holy cow, amazing collection! Uh, insane pre, pre war collection and knowledge. If you want to go to you know, info on pre war and watch some videos, head over to his channel. Um, just basically, if I want to look at stuff I never will get, uh, I'm going to look at him because I don't know much about the pre war, but everything I do know so far, or at least most of it, has come from the upset card. So there is my next vote. And we have two more packs, so here we go. We got Dave from Blue Jacket 66. Of course, I mean, I think I've probably seen this guy in almost everybody's ballots. If there's any such thing as a YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame first balloter unanimous Hall of Famer, this is <laughs> this is gonna be the guy. Incredible cards, incredible stuff. He's a huge Mickey Mantle collection. Love of Red Heart, Hot Dog Rainbow, to just some. You know, incredible, like, the 1952, his video on that mantle, Type 1, Type 2 is number one resource, literally, in the hobby to go to. So, Dave Blue Jacket 66, an amazing collection, incredible info. He loves food and beverage issues, which are cool, but love that because a lot of them are regional, so you don't get to, you know, see or even know about a lot of them. And, um, I've seen very generous care packages from him. So again, another com big community impact um, vote right there. Collection, and he just checks all the boxes. And here's our last one. Pack Keek is coming in at as my final vote, we are done with our hobby box. So I hope you guys enjoyed as always. This was my ballot for the Hall of Fame, but in the uh, style of all my videos. And AKA opening some packs and looking at some cards and cool things. I try to personalize you know, each and every letter for that specific person. So Pack Geek is going to be the tenth and final one here. Um, and him, I mean, he has elite production value. I have not seen a single person on YouTube that has overall better production than Pat Geek. Now I know he has an editor, but um, that just makes it all that much more professional. Um, amazing, cool stuff. He had videos eight years ago and he started back up a couple years ago. And, and like new brand, cool, professional. So I love his stuff. If you follow my channel, you know that we take quality here and we try to you know, make the cards good to look at and fun and informational all at the same time. And if you ever wanted to watch a TV show about baseball cards, this would be the TV show. Um, so Pat Geek, I definitely see him on, you know, like history or what, you know, one of those um, like card car show channels. So, very super professional. He is coming in as our 10th and final vote. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope Mike has a lot of fun. <laughs> Baseball Collector. Again, if you don't know about the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame or want to you know, get in and participate next year, check out Mike Baseball Collector. The link is going to be down in the description. Today we went over a hobby box. And you can see we are all out of packs, so 10 packs, 10 nominations. Have fun with that one, Mike. Have fun uh, with the whole tallying up and balancing and stuff like that. Can't wait to see who gets in. And again, it's all for fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Baseball Collector's channel. Again, this is about getting new channels out there. Um, getting channels that 
have been making contributions, amazing contributions to the car community, making their videos for quite a while, and getting them recognized. So absolutely love it, love the idea. I don't understand all the negative stuff that comes from it, but you know, just top those aside because all we have is positive fun here on the channel. This was 2020 YouTube Sports Car Hall of Fame nomination, aka car community no nominations. Here is just a list of I've been tallying with some of you guys in the car community that make content and stuff like that. If you're not on this list, make a comment, call me out on it. Um, I know I'm just one guy, so there's just no way I could put uh, everybody on the list, but I hope one day to do that. So. I'm going to call it the Card Immunity Wall. So we have the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. And of course, only 10 people get in here. We got the Card Immunity Wall. Of course, everybody should be etched on that. So check that out right here. Again, if you don't see your name, throw it down below. Call me out. Let me subscribe to you. Check out your videos. Hope all you guys have an amazing rest of your day. We didn't have a video yesterday, so I'm going to try to put up another normal card opening video later tonight. As always, keep collecting, care about the cards, and most importantly, each other. We'll catch up later here in Classic Cards. See you guys.